A non-governmental organization in Kilifi County has sponsored over 420 victims of child abuse drawn from primary, secondary and tertiary institutions to continue with their education. The organization that was founded due to the high cases of child abuse being reported at the county level spends over 68 million shillings each year to ensure that the victims remain in school. Kilifi Child Protection Organization, dubbed Friends for Justice, is committed to ensuring that victims of child abuse continue with their education. <laughs> Speaking in Kilifi when flagging off the education sponsorship program of over 420 students, the founder of the organization, Alice Kenyo, said that among the students being sponsored this year, 178 are from secondary schools, 66 from college, and the rest are in primary schools. We have currently 428 students, all spread from primary, primary, secondary, and uh, high school, I mean, sorry, college. So we, at the stage when we pick up a case is where we pick up the child and then mentor them through the program. In a year, we have a budget of 68 million, and that takes us through education, scholarships. She added that among the rescued victims, some had been subjected to sexual assault, sodomy, and others being beaten in the hands of their relatives. We rescue children who are in need of care and protection. We work with them the journey of accessing justice. We ensure they get justice in court. And these cases cut across sexual assault, defilement, uh, sodomy, mainly sexual offenses. The event that was also graced by leaders from Kilifi County welcomed the initiative and called for a full child protection program. The Kilifi County Rescue Center, ambayo hivi karibu ni taanza kujengwa, ili watoto weze kuwa na makao mazuri na weze kusoma, wendele na masoma, mpaka wa malize university. Kilifi Governor Gideon Mongaro revealed that 350 million shillings bursary allocations has been set aside in support of the needy children. So our commitment is to make sure that the kids who come from vulnerable families are taken care of. Those who come from families who can sustain themselves but they have uh, issues, they will be a bit backed by the MCAs at the grassroots level to make sure that the parents are a bit uh, give a boost. <laughs> Opicho Chemtai for Lunchtime News.